All right. Well, Benjamin, karibu sana to the asante, show. Asante. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. I'm happy we are talking about um, how to tell whether it's a deal or no deal. Right. Because there are too many conditions. Yeah. And I think we should start by debunking some theories. Okay. When you find true love, you will not feel panicky and anxiety and palpitations and, uh, you know, shaking and what if not, but what if. But season your sisters and your you feel, ay, jamini, kwa ni tari tunalala. Season your sisters and your you feel this feeling. There is <laughs> There's no word for it. It's just. I like it. But we are coming <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> this one. <laughs> anyway. Well, there's that. But let's start by saying there's actually a, 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 a whole proverb going by that in the Hindu culture. And one of the things they say is when you find true love, you will not feel anxiety. You will feel peace. Okay. So there, there is butterfly. So let's go yeah. so that I can tell you where this comes in. <laughs> <laughs> it's called chemistry. There uh -huh. is chemistry. Right. You feel the excitement. You feel the girl or the boy. You feel the child within you excited. Right. That should be the indicator that this person touches you deeply. Because okay. there's another crush, there's another infatuation that you will meet. Another variety of infatuations people are arousing <laughs> you as you go through life. Okay. <laughs> Which is superficial and short-lived. Right. right. If you ignore it, it dies without you knowing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you see them the second time, you wonder, oh, those are the crush on this person. What was it about again? <laughs> so, it is, so you will know this person touches you deeply when you feel the child within you awakened. When you say child is in playfulness, mm -hmm. is talkative. We say nobody is introverted when they are around their lover. Mm -hmm. No. Nobody is quite, you know, they're introverted. No. They say they don't talk. No, the child is awake when you're around the person you love. Right. You're playful and easy. They know you're crazy. It, exactly. In fact, this person brings out that side of the crazy. You just right. talk. You, 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 you want to think aloud yeah. <laughs> when you're around them. Yeah, yeah. And, and I tell guys that if you see a girl quiet around you, there's something wrong. Mm. She is not. Uh, at, all girls are talkative around the men. Okay. <laughs> Most so girls are expressive when they are in there around their lover. So you know this is the one when they bring out the child in you. The other thing is, the second thing is they, they challenge you to expand without making you feel insufficient. There's a difference. Mm -hmm. When you interact with the person who is true love, you feel you want to try more. You feel confident mm. to try new things. Mm. To st you suddenly are energized and confident to try new things. Yeah. At the same time, this is very different from a person who makes you feel you are you are insufficient and you are you are trying to work up to measure up to them that is very different yeah the person who makes you feel you are insufficient is intimidating in fact they're eating away at your confidence now the problem joys with the with the true love and versus the, the counterfeit the, the the line is thin but it's very easy to identify when you once you've learned mm -hmm. the person who loves you will encourage you they, they, they will accept you as you are while also encouraging you that there are potentials within you that are not yet activated. So these people for saying, now that we are in love and I love you, don't work, so you don't go anywhere. Thank you Just for bringing that up. Just stay at home. I'll provide everything. And if you do that as your choice, that's perfectly fine. But if it's someone telling you what exactly. to do to me, that's different. You can choose you yourself to take seasons of your life where you're doing one thing and putting another on hold. If you choose, that's okay. But if a person begins to prevent you from doing things, from pursuing higher education, from trying another business, from tr and they're not giving you solid reason. You know, there are some things we won't take because they're not fitting to what we are doing currently. Mm. But if a person discourages every new thing you want to do, that person is either intimidated at your potentials, mm -hmm. and they're afraid that you'll expand and get out of reach. Mm -hmm. They're trying to control you, or they, they, they themselves are not committed to grow, and they know when you grow, you will, uh, you will bypass them. Right. And I... Uh, it's very comfortable for a man when you're earning more than your wife. It's very, you provide comfortably, you mm -hmm. feel. But if you have a girl who is always moving, the best solution for you to keep on moving too. <laughs> so that mm -hmm. if you want to keep in front, you keep in front in practice. Mm -hmm. It's easy to outwork your, it's easy to out earn your wife because you always has three jobs. <laughs> <laughs> the one she does daytime, uh -huh. then the job of taking care of you. Yeah. <laughs> you dress well, you eat well. Yeah. And the home, the yeah. children and everything. Women always have three jobs. She yeah. cannot outwork me. <laughs> I know she's dividing her time. I'm not, I don't mean at home, I don't participate, but, but surely she does more every time. Yeah. <laughs> she's more emotionally to it. Okay. She's thinking about the next seats. What should, should change to this? What about, so she, she's so much into, I know her energy is divided. Okay. So if I take my energy fully to work, I'll always be ahead. So I tell men, don't put her hand down. Instead, go ahead. Mm. Let her have to catch up with you. In fact, sometimes she feels that you can always carry the weight. When she needs to slow down and tend to a kid, attend to a this, mm -hmm. to a, she always you, she knows you can lift the weight. Right. Uh, so I know some, some women are having to step up to the plate because their men aren't. 
then the men complain that all oh, women are too ahead. Well, you there's, didn't leave her an option. There, there's a, there's a, a spreading disease like that among men who just want to sit back and the woman carries the responsibilities. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I told women that although many of you are oriented to, to, to not ask for help, to just do things, you know, the right mothers orient their women to get to, to, to not be a weight uh, burden to other people. So they don't know how to ask for help. Her birthday comes and she does not have too many demands. You know, and the guy is just, but in your birthday she spoils you. What she does in your birthday she expects you to do in her own. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that. So I tell these girls, although you are generous, don't, do not overlook the responsibility of the man to provide. Mm. Because you are doing a journey with him and you also have all, your own needs. If this relationship you are the one always doing things, over time you get tired. Over mm. time you get exhausted. Although you started being very excited and we are into this together, over time you get exhausted. Another sign, uh, Joy, is of uh, 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 true love is generosity. I don't understand those people who say that person loves me and they are not bought me anything for a year. I don't get it. What, what are you calling love? <laughs> What's your definition of love, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if, if, for example, if me as the man, me as the man, I, surely God loved until he gave. For right. God so loved until he solved the problem. He gave so that you can get. So you need a person who loves until they demonstrate it with actions. You know, and a part of, uh, these are not just actions of giving you tropical. Those small things are important. <laughs> tropical. Some people give you funny things. <laughs> <you know? laughs> <laughs> Some people come with wow. karanga. It's okay. They were just eating jugaranga. <laughs> you need a giving that they feel it. <laughs> a giving that costed them something. <laughs> you need something that was thoughtful. It's not oh, about right. breaking their leg and damaging their budget. Or we are not talking about that. We are talking thoughtful and something that costed them something. Oh my goodness. Guys, remember you can send in your feedback to triple one triple four triple one, and I'd be happy to take your questions here for Benjamin Zulu as we talk about identifying whether you are, if, if it's true love or if it's not. And someone here is asking, when you fear losing your partner, is that true love? Remember when you love a person you are scared of losing because you know you can't replace them. That is part of it. Mm -hmm. we are, I suppose to know I'm lucky to have this woman. Mm. Actually, she's the one who makes me fly. And if I lose her, man, might take me. And Joyce, you said your years of productivity are few, just 30 to 60. Those are the time you can make an impact in the world. Mm. Before that, you don't have enough skills and enough connection you know, to make an impact in the world. Past the 60, your health is already delicate. You must be careful. You can continue doing a few things, but you are at the back of your mind to you know your health is delicate. If there's corona, you must run into hiding. Be more careful. <laughs> You're more prone in the health sector. They call you geriatric patients <laughs> who are delicate. So it's true. When you love a person, you'll be afraid to lose. So afraid to lose them that mm. you can't afford to disrespect them. So afraid to lose them that you can't afford to take them for granted, that you can't afford to forget them. In fact, right. you should be so afraid of losing them that they should, uh, that you, that makes you fear. But the another thing is, that fear should not be the main thing. It should be the love between the two of you that keeps right. you together. And we, I think we also need to clarify that this is a fear about missing out on the value that that person brings into your life, not exactly. a fear of being alone. That's very different. Very good. Because it leads us to the question then, if, if, if these things that we're talking about are what actually mark true love, why is it that so many people then just settle in their relationships when they you know, can't take any of those things. Do, do, do you know just there are people who settle in terms of they compromise. Some people, and I want to tell these girls who, who put a deadline when they were 80 years old, that they must be married by 30. <laughs> I said from the time I was in Sunday school, but by that time you had to get married. <laughs> you were in Sunday school, dummy. Okay, you did not know the world <laughs> operates. Now I'm 29, I, me I think I'll just uh, have to do everything, I have to observe my target. <laughs> <laughs> Those targets came from oh, childish. Your yellow waistcoat. It's that yellow waistcoat that. <laughs> 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 it's a, it's the, the, please adjust your realities to the market. Mm -hmm. So those people who settle, who compromise, and who give up. Do, do you know the people who sustain marriage at the expense of everything else in their life? Right. They, 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 because they say, I love my marriage so much. They give up their dreams. They give up their spirituality. They give up. This person doesn't want me to do this, so I give it up. I give it up. I give it up to sustain the marriage. The people who settle at the expense of everything. We are saying true love is you merge and you begin to ascend. Mm. Joyce, you will know a couple was meant to be together. If one year after they married, you find them better. Mm -hmm. 
you find them they are moving on they are forging forward mm -hmm. uh, there, there, there's a tendency among young people they marry and they don't have a job any of them as of, and they bring a child quickly oh, i ask him mm -hmm. what is the child going to eat <laughs> you, you see, now you need a house up you're living in a bed sitter why will the house up sleep <laughs> you had the trouble getting matter now you had the clinics yeah. now <laughs> could you have arranged things better mm -hmm. so we are saying there's also thinking it's not automatic the reason people begin to improve when they come together because they, they pray together, think together, move together, start planning things together. And mm -hmm. I ask men to provide leadership, not just to be there. So, Joyce, it's not just about settling. It's about coming together, then you start moving towards a goal. And remember, I told you, the only person you should marry is one who's going to move, no, who has goals to attain, and one who is in tandem with God. People don't have God as safe when they're poor. Pray that he Preach. remains broke and poor. <laughs> I was gonna say, amen. If, he has no God, <laughs> if, he, <laughs> if he has no God, the moment he gets money, it becomes a monster. Because money is power. It makes you think now you can get everything. But women all over you, the companies all over you, cars, you will get an obsession. If money comes and the person does not have a core, a center, a, a true north to balance him. How many times have you heard we were okay until money came? Mm -hmm. We were okay until he got the promotion. We were okay. He was not okay. He had no options. Remember we said, you cannot say a person is honest if they have never had a chance to steal anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we only say you're faithful if you had a chance to be unfaithful. That's right. And you chose to be faithful. Yeah. So there are people, and that's why I say, don't, it's, women, don't risk. Don't risk. And I tell men, especially, if, if you get a girl from a poor background, she has never seen 10,000. Mm -hmm. Don't marry her until you expose her to some money and see how she behaves. Some change to something you've never seen. <laughs> They'll spend the whole day on the makeup mirror. They'll spend the whole day on the desk now mm. because they have options upon options. They change this, remove this, change the other, remove the other. It's, uh, it's too exciting. In, in, in my home place, we say, if a goat has been uh, bread, brew, uh, zero grazing, through a tie, through a rope, mm. then one day it is the, the rope is loose. That God will run berserk to taste freedom. It's yeah. not going somewhere in particular. <laughs> He's just happy to be free. <laughs> Some people have been tied by poverty. And that's why I tell guys, guys not to intercept girls in the university. Those girls don't know life. Those girls have never had money. Those girls have never had many men after them. Those girls have never had to choose. You see, you're choosing her, but she's not choosing you yet. Right. You're only one coming with money and a car. She has, does not have many, too many people with a car. Mm -hmm. The day she'll be among many men in the car, she'll think this was not even the best. What about Jim? <laughs> what about Ken? And David Toxona, this guy is so tall. Lot about the brown guys as you begin to explore with you and you will die with stress right. it's better to find a person who has evolved and now they're making a choice after they have journeyed some journey that's why i tell guys avoid girls who are not yet 25 you don't know them and they don't know themselves mm -hmm. you're you're taking a waga you are you, you are you're you are putting you're betting with your life <laughs> that that man you will win and i'll be okay mm -hmm. <laughs> if it loses <laughs> so it's it's, it's so for, for me it's to say you know it's true love when after we come together we have enough happiness money to start ascending in goals this is another target if you have a person who prays for you yeah joyce you need a person who prays for you that's right these people keep saying this guy doesn't go to church but he says he won't prevent me from going to church he will not prevent me from worshiping but he himself he does not he, he's, he's, he's agnostic he's still questioning about religion and uh, about uh, he's still exploring at 35 still exploring <laughs> listen you need a person who cannot, you don't want a person to allow you to go pray. You want him to pray for you. There right. will be a time you will be down mm. that you'll be need covering. I told oh. one girl, if you marry spiritually blind, you might live a short and hard life. That's or right. you might never ascend to your calling. This life is a battle. We're in a spiritual world. That's you right. need a person to wage wars for you, Some to lay an offering for you. A person who can cover you and suddenly see miracles happening in your side and they tell you, I had prayed about that. I knew mm. it was a challenge for you and I, I, I spoke to God about it. Amen. You need that. Yeah. Don't underrate that. Wow. Hey, I hope you guys have been assessing yourselves and trying to figure out if indeed your relationship, whether you're dating, whether you're married, uh, is actually true love or not. Okay. And we want to take your questions. Triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. You can also comment on Facebook at Switch TV Kenya. And we'll be back with Benjamin after this. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. Thank you again for your company this morning. Remember, triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. We're here talking with Benjamin Zulu about whether it is true love or not. And uh, he's made some very interesting pointers here this morning, including the fact that, you know, if it's true love, 
there shouldn't be fear. Mm -hmm. um, the, a fear of losing the person is perhaps a good you thing. You should be confident. Of losing the value that exactly. they bring. I really want to emphasize that it is the value that they bring into your life, not losing the person. You because some of you guys hear, get desperate and You do must crazy never things. hear a person scare you that if you don't do ABCD, I'll get another person. Right. The moment a person utters those words, that's yeah. not love. Right. You should not be afraid that there's another person they're seeing. Yeah. You should be confident they are choosing you. Mm -hmm. But what you fear is you yourself, you want to take care of this relationship because you know it is good for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about that even if it's true love, really, it should improve the both of you. The exactly. both of you are better because of the love between you. Exactly. You, 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 you should be able to count things this person has inspired you to do. Mm -hmm. This person has done for you uh, practically. This person has helped you practically. Joyce, I told you the thing, uh, the bachelor, between bachelorhood and being married is like before and after, you know, what the way people put it. Because there before, I tell bachelors, we struggle, they struggle with funny diseases like stomach infection because they are eating <laughs> remains of mama boga. <laughs> <laughs> what they were cooking and you arrived late you know oh, there's no food mm -hmm. and then you buy whatever is there then you eat you always are the chemist getting you know <laughs> detox oh, no. and things after <laughs> that you begin to eat good things like sweet potato <laughs> <laughs> something like that cut into small pieces good and packed well <laughs> nobody's ever a lunchbox imagine and a small flask i can take tea i feel so blessed <laughs> to take tea in my own imagine i'm there in a camp just taking tea this for me those small things are the greatest blessing because they right. meet my need when i'm I'm from a show, I'm from a session, I'm so tired. I can take something and replenish myself. Right. Yeah, before I, I was common with Afia and these juices, you know, and Ngumu. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Well, there's a question um, about uh, relationships, okay, and, and this love. Because we've said, um, you know, a guy should really be willing to take the lead, right? And mm -hmm. really carry the relationship You're forward. Right. That the man, you know, can really provide and sort of provide vision and direction. And that's key. Mm. There's a question from this vicinity somewhere here. <laughs> Asking... That, you know, sometimes they say sometimes maybe some people need to be catalyzed into action. Catalyze. <laughs> that should tell you your answer right there. But some people need to be catalyzed into action, catalyzed into sort of their purpose and their destiny. We've talked about, you know, destiny helpers and that sort of thing. Should your spouse, the person that you're dating, are they a destiny helper in that sense? Because in, they're that saying they are. that they should come into the relationship and then that's maybe when you start being able to do things. Apo sasa ndiyo changamka only after they've come into your life. And thank you for using catalyst, not reactor. Because catalyst, their reaction was already possible without it. Catalyst made it faster. Okay. The, the spouse doesn't come to help you find your calling in life. Mm -hmm. You should be already in the search. And should be have a sense of direction where you're going. Mm -hmm. I come to make it easier for you. To make you achieve it in a greater way. To be a cheerleader. Thank you. There are mm -hmm. other gifts, yes, I'll help you discover. But a person who was lazy and sleeping, even marrying them, won't, them, won't make them help wake up. Mm -hmm. So we are saying, don't mistake this. Don't say, and another thing, the reason <coughs> I was feeling like sleeping is people thinking you're catalyzing me to choose you. No. Mm -hmm. Never help a person to choose you. That's Never right. help a person to love you. Never help them think you're wonderful. Never convince them that they should marry you. That is something you must never... Be. In fact, one sign of life is you can question their sanity, but not their passion. Mm. You need a person who's so crazy about you that sometimes... <laughs> are they okay? okay like, <laughs> yeah. You want a person who's so crazy about you, it looks like insanity. Yeah. But you don't want a person who's wondering... They don't call so often. When I hear people asking, <laughs> they're in love, but they don't call another one. Where is the love there? You want a person who is so outrightly into you. <laughs> let me ask, let me just get to some questions because I think you've triggered something there. Um, someone says, I'm in a long distance relationship, but sometimes I feel that my man is too busy for me. He tells me he loves me. Oh, Lord. I'm 23. He's 27. Is that true? Okay. Love? Thank you for mentioning 23. <laughs> I'm so sensitive <laughs> to it now. <laughs> oh, no. Please. Um, I want to tell this 23 year old that you are asking, it's like, when I hear pre-25 is asking about relationships, it's like a, a five-year-old asking me the best gun to shoot with. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be shooting anyone at five. <laughs> it's so hard to ask this Forever. 23. Right now, you, you, you are mistaking red flags for, for red roses. Where? Whether the man is good or bad, your eyes can't see. 
All you're seeing is red. Thank you. Another thing is, you don't know where you're going. Maybe there are things about him that can't fit your calling. Perhaps he's a very good man. But the trajectory of his life is opposite to where you're going. Mm. Some of these girls themselves, they're alpha female. They're so driven. They're out. Then they go dating other alpha males because they don't know themselves yet. Mm. Before you're 25, you may look cooperative and you're just flowing. And many times you don't have enough money. He's just supporting, sending you some money, sending you airtime and you appreciate. A day will come, you make more money than him. What will happen? Mm. Maybe he had no relevance at all. Tell this girl to grow two more years. And until she can tell where she's going, then she can evaluate people. Does he, his energy, vibe. He, those things you can't tell before you mature. You're using a teenage brain which cannot evaluate that. Even if he's a good right. man, maybe he's not your, your perfect match. Okay, okay, okay. Another person here says, Hey Joyce and Benjamin, my partner doesn't like hugging, holding hands, or even acknowledging me in front of his friends or anywhere in public. And why is he your partner? Good Lord. He says he's an introvert and doesn't ah. even take me out. Is this a red flag? A red, it's a red, a red. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> Listen to me. Why are you with him? Doesn't acknowledge you. No, no, this is a red carpet. They're walking already. Part of what I want to tell this girl is there is no love there. You should have a reason. This person should love you until you into them. How did they do that? You brought yourself. This girl cut herself and brought herself to the box. That's why the guy is doing nothing. You're just here. Mm. So do yeah, 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 yeah. You're just here. How is he after you? He should acknowledge you publicly. Things like holding her hands, hugging. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> if you have to beg for crumbs of attention, are you a lover or a beggar? I, okay, even me, I'm an introvert, but as we've said, when you when are around, you're around your person, they bring out everything in you. When you are around the person who loves you, like my husband knows my crazy, thank you. That person feels, I mean, they feel like home. Yeah, this girl feels like she's a foreigner there. Whenever yeah. you feel like a foreigner or unwanted or somehow not desired, you are not in your element. You're not at home. There's no love there. So I think they actually continued the SMS. He said, or they said, he doesn't take me out because he says he's always busy working for a better future. We've been dating for almost a year. That girl, if she's above 25, I'm very worried because her thinking is very clouded. That thinking, I find it among under 25s. They explain what they should be using to use a conclusion, but they still make it a question. Mm. No, that story already adds up that you are not in a relationship with anyone. That's right. Sadly so. Ha. Huh. Someone here says, what Benjamin is saying is true. My friend was dating this guy. He was broke. Uh, but when he got money, he dumped her saying, hakuna kitu anamsaidia nayo. Guy! That's what happens. We say, Joyce, if you get a person who does not have reverence for God, they won't mm. revere you either. They won't even remember the kindness you did to them. Uh, the you know, I'm so glad you're the one saying that, Benjamin, because sometimes I know this is a faith-based show and we talk about faith a lot. And I talk about God and relationships being so interlinked. And I think some people don't believe me. But here you are saying it yourself as a psychologist, as a relationship coach. I, I, I tell you the truth. A person who does not have a higher power, the whom they respect. You have no base trusting them. They can change. They can change. Because they're not submitted exactly. to any authority. And another thing money brings is pride. People can just become proud. What will you do? You know, the other day I talked about narcissists and people are telling me, so how can I help my brother as a narcissist? How can I help my, uh, my father as a, how can I help my, as a narcissist? I'm saying, I, and I return the question to them. I want to bring a proud person, a proud person to you. You help them. How will you help them? They're not open to any help. Yeah. Look for a person who at least has humility enough to acknowledge God. Where? Hey Joyce, I've been in a long distance relationship. We truly love each other, but my fi fiancé was diagnosed with throat cancer. Polly about that. And you say he's recovering and um, now we were planning to get married, but his health is what is an obstacle. Another thing is he's uneducated and poor and I've been supporting him. My family says we should break up. I'm now questioning if it's true love or not because it's hard to break up. He values me so much. This is, this sounds like, I think the fact that she's asking if I like, do you know what I mean? Like there's a question of if it's true love and then there's a question of if I even love him. Exactly. So let's talk about this. About the cancer, we are very sorry. Yeah. If that is cancer was the, was the only issue, 
I would have told you to weather the storm and use that fight to bond together better. Right, because your vows will also be in exactly. sickness and in Because health. that cancer could have also have come after you married. Exactly. You should use this to test your unity. Yeah. To, de to decide we are going to forge through this. Cancer is almost a brush with death. Mm -hmm. So when a person, when people brush, the, they go through depression, they go through anxiety. So don't expect them to behave no more. They'll behave erratic here and there. But you're supposed to be patient and wait and see how, as they recover, you cannot plan your life ahead. Mm. But when she brought another factor there, Joyce, that yeah. I'm educated, he and is not. He's, yeah, she said another thing is he is uneducated and poor and I've been supporting him. And then my family says we should break up. That is the real issue here. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the it's not the illness. It's not the other one. Yeah. The real issue is that he is not educated, you are educated. That you have money, he has no money. Remember Jesus you said you cannot know a man until he gets some money, some power. He has no you can't tell what he will become when he gets the money. Maybe he has never explored. That's why you have men at that age still exploring every skirt, trying club, going clubby, still buying loud, loud cars. There's an age for some things, Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> you meet a 45 still getting, <laughs> wanting noise and attention on the road. Prrr, all of and you must do this. You, <laughs> at 45. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, maybe Lord. he will start that when he gets the money. I want to ask girls to, st to stop mis mixing love with charity, sympathy, pity. Tea, mercy. I uh, the fact that she questions us, she loves him. Probably this uh, she, she she felt like a rescuer. Mm. So my advice is get therapy. Mm -hmm. You can contact me or another person close to you. Or nowadays we are doing a lot of online work. Mm -hmm. I want to ask this girl to get a room where she can clarify, and she should go alone first. This girl when I tell them to, they bring the guy. So that means you can't talk when he's there. <laughs> <laughs> Go alone fast and get a, a place to explore. Maybe he's a, he's a good one for you, but there yeah. are some dynamics you need to check. To work out. Yes. Right, right. And how, how important should the families say be in this? If it's, and this is actually now a good question, if it's true love, and we've, I mean, last week I was talking to a couple and we we're talking about intertribal relationships, things like those. If it's true love, Yet your family will make me apple because they are from which whichever tribe you should not whatever. Yes, I know you have you had experience in that. Eh? I, I do. Many of your relatives were not for me. Although you. Are no, my I'm very global, exactly. but my relatives were great. It's actually people around okay. that were not, but you know, <laughs> deuces, honey. But, <laughs> um, but it could be that. It could be any other factor. At what point should the families say come in if we're talking about true love? Should it even come in at all? Whenever you find your true love, don't let anybody separate you from them. If you say my parents can't allow to marry from this tribe, then you drop it. You might never find another partner like that. That's right. You will grow bitter against those parents you are being. Right. What, why people coil away because they don't want to fight. Yet whenever you hear your family resisting you marrying whom you want, they have declared war. Hmm. There is not, things will never be uh, no more again. Stop looking for no mercy after that. So if you, if you obey them and leave the person alone, you become bitter over years. Or if you, you're supposed actually to disobey them respectfully, tell them, okay, I hear your opinion, I respect, but with this one, allow me guys to marry the one you want and respectfully disagree with them. Even if from there they alienate you, they say you are an outcast, no problem. In, in any case, you're supposed to delink, live with them and build a life on your own. So does that apply with money and education, tribe aside? Very good. I'm happy you came from the society I wanted to quote. <laughs> you have interacted with them alone. The <laughs> gated community. You find that those people, have, a dad has built an empire and all their children and daughters have shops and businesses directly coming from dad. Okay. And when you marry into that family, there are rules there <laughs> about how we run the business empire. Now, this is the thing, Joyce. If the money came that if the business from that he has say he has of course I say that you can locate this business because of the way they are built where if he has located his business this side and that's where they have customers surely you can capture now let's get take it to Lokichogio that has built a catchment here he has given you the business but he also expects you to continue respecting the, the family umbrella right. so for as far as it's there say to say that's okay but your personal money when you earn your salary how to spend it that's your work. Right. If it's a family business, the one who, the manager, that is sometimes many times on mom, the managing director, the chairman or something, who says, uh, who, who makes business decisions. Don't close shop or do things without their permission. That is different. But when it is your personal money, the income you're earning, how should you shall spend it, that should be your own. And But okay. again, don't disagree disrespectfully. Okay. Don't dismiss them. <clears throat> Hear them, but still go on and make your own decisions. Okay. And let me just let you know I'm not from that community. You know them at least. 
I know that. I know you have been globally. I've been I very quote globalized. you because you have moved everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> not an outsider. <laughs> Someone here says, we've been together for two years, but everything I do, he keeps comparing me with his ex. We have a five-month-old baby, but I feel he doesn't love our baby because um, he keeps searching for her, I guess the ex, on Facebook. And I don't know if they talk. I'm so confused. That girl is not yet 25. That is what I call child talk. If a person doesn't love <laughs> your child, and, and I'm wondering, why, how did the child come? Was it a planned child? Are you married? Is this a relationship? Do you live together? What are those? Uh, Joyce, that is a, one of the most confused situations women are getting themselves into. into. Okay. If a man keeps looking for another woman, it's a clear statement. You're not enough for him. Yeah. You're supposed to exit his life. Value yourself, girl. Thank you. Value exit yourself. his life. If he doesn't value you, doesn't value the child, you have enough signals now. What do you want? Want to speak a horn, speak and shout at you? I have quite a number of questions to get okay. through in, I think, five minutes. <laughs> Someone here is saying, and I, I love this question because I think this is a really great question. You don't leave me your name, but your number ends with 784 and starts with 0706. Hey, Joyce, kindly ask Benjamin, where do you draw a line between a red flag or duvet, as you said, <laughs> and an imperfection that can be worked on? I love that. Because I feel like sometimes that's, why people find themselves in toxic relationships. Most narcissists and sociopaths appear so charming, nice, and sweet at first. But especially that first half of the question, what is a red flag? And what is a, a season that someone is passing through? The difference is a weakness and a character flow. Mm -hmm. Please note, for example, forgetting to tell you something is a weakness. Hiding something from you is a red flag. The first one is a weakness you need to tell them to help them pick, keep reminders. I'm a forgetful person myself. So forgetful. I could go to the market to the bicycle and forget it there, go home and fit. <laughs> <laughs> oh and I hear people looking for the bicycle and they where's the bike? Why is it you was with that last? Oh, you? Me? Uh, okay. Then I run back, I find it back in the shop where I left it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's forgetful. That's a weakness. Uh -huh. But if it was hiding things, like maybe hiding things or reviews and tell you what you think you need to know. That's dishonesty. So okay. with red red flag is character flow, like dishonest, like manipulation, like lying. Those things that indicate a, an, an intentional, intentional doing harm or doing hiding truth or to hurt you. That's a, a big red flag. Okay. And faithfulness, those kind of things. But with seasons or things that can be worked through, they involve something that they are trying to you know, overcome, but it's a weakness in their life. For example, yeah. And if you see it, while you're dating should you bring up that weakness i think you should and see how they react exactly to you saying that because that's going to say a lot of things about how your marriage might be conducted. the attitude of how they respond also is a yeah. lot but by then you should have already categorized whether this it's is something tolerable. you can live exactly with. absolutely because weaknesses you know you can't change somebody overnight so you, i like that you need to check if that's something you can live with you can tolerate exactly okay um another question here someone is saying um how can you tell whether it's true love or not, if you've dated for three years and still the man is not giving the date or any plan about marriage but insists he loves you. That's Marilyn from Nairobi. Three years. Three years. These people have, where have people wasting time? <laughs> Evaluate a guy in a month or two. What are you doing, three years? A dear month or two. Yes. Just, you see the way we sat with you, if this was a date, I would have already arrived at my conclusion. This one. <laughs> I don't know what people are doing three years. <laughs> Are they counting your uh, nails and checking your hair? What are they? Three years, no joy. Conversation <laughs> tells me that we can vibe or not. The reason people stay three years, they don't know what they're looking for themselves. <laughs> they can't tell you when they see it or when they can't see it. Three years. You should have finished a diploma by now. Okay, I'm at, the Benjamin is about to jump off the couch. <laughs> Surely, you only have three years of productive life. Between 30 years, 30 to 60. Oh, now, if you donate that three to Jimo, three to Ken, <laughs> three to David, four to Jim, you will die dating. Preach. What are you doing? And you're still oh, not Lord. sure? Oh, Lord, help me. He insists he loves you, but he doesn't show the actions? Doesn't make you his woman? What is love to you? You're so confused. Where? We should where, run to where? the nearest church with a token of repentance. Guy, I have, I have a few more SMSs to get through. I'm 30, I'm turning 31 and I always point red flags in a relationship and walk out. The learnership point about the man, or is that leadership? Point about the man is 
Oh dear. Okay. Um, I seem to have. It's just moi. I okay. The I think they they're celebrating that. Oh, the man is you. Just moi. I as our Asante. Someone else says we've been together for two years, but everything I do, and I think I read that one. Um, I'm asking if what if he loves you because you have a kid for him? That's a good one. Do people love because do men love? A woman Once you because? sense he loves his child, let him access his child, not you. You go get a person who loves you for you. The child will grow and go, meaning his love will go also. Mm. You remain. What if another woman gets a child for him? He will take the love there also. He will distribute his love among baby mamas. Or the babies. Get a person who loves you and also loves a child. Those are different things. Eh. What animal is nahi? Kuna mtu umejamisha kidogo. Benjamin Zulu, I beg to disagree. I have a right to date whomever I want as long as she's not under 18. Lakini love za sikuizi ni kazi ya mjengo. Kitu kidogo na ambia usikuje kesho. That's Joseph from Masai Mara Those are the University. Honey, stay there. <laughs> Those are the consequences of dating children. They will keep dismissing you today by seeing another one tomorrow. You uh, are right. <laughs> but are you doing the right thing? And it will hurt your many times. I also wonder how old this person is. He's not yet that. He's in men's... university. Or no, maybe they... he's a student. Uh, I don't he's maybe a student. He's a... No wonder. Okay. They... Go maybe by he's our to Ikeshi. Let them continue playing. This child will play, Joyce. We are done with today's show. Thank I... you, children. Go back to class. <laughs> Corona is over. I have been to this hour. I have to wrap up the show. I mean, the segment. Please give us your address. Benjamin Zulu KE everywhere. Benjamin Zulu KE everywhere. Thank you, Benjamin, for coming to the show. I need to take a break. Oh my gosh. Watch out, Pewe Maji. We'll be back after this talking about skincare. Stay tuned.